It is football Friday, and uh, Great Creek Eagles are going against the Cristobal Cougars over at Cristobal at 7.30 p.m. tonight. But this morning, we have our Tim O'Brien, right? Yes, he is live out there in Cristobal right now. Tim, how's it going out there? Good morning again to both of you. It's going really well. The Cristobal energy out here is electric. The Big Red Cougars are ready to start the season here. They won a big win last week. We come back into week two here, which is week one in West Texas. And they have a homecoming night. The seniors are ready. The uh, school spirit here is unbelievable. Everybody is in red. The cheerleaders, the band, the football players. They have mums. That is a tradition here. There's all sorts of, uh, it almost looks like a Mardi Gras feel with what some of the uh, student body here are wearing. Cool. That sounds awesome. Well, I know last year, Cristobal beat Grape Creek by almost 40 points, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. This year looks to be a little closer game. What, what do you think, uh, what's kind of your prediction for tonight? Yeah, so you know what? Uh, I, I spoke with Coach Casey Otho yesterday out here at Cristobal, and they're not going to take anybody lightly. They did say uh, Grape Creek is much improved this season, and it might not be as lopsided as it was last year. Uh, coming into the game, there was a very young team last year on both sides of the ball. They are returning, Cristobal Cougars as they, they are returning nine starters on both sides of the ball. After an 8-4 and four campaign, 4-1 four and one in districts, they really look to have a, a big night again against Grape Creek, but Coach did say they're not going to take them lightly and they're not going to sit on whether or not 40 points last year it's a whole new season new team but they're ready to go yeah a lot can happen they have pretty much the same team all nine guys coming back yeah, right. It's 11-man, and it's funny because they used to be a six-man team here up until 96 or 97, and they transitioned to 11-man, and uh, so far, so good. It's, it's a, Eight and four is a good campaign for a smaller school out here in Cristobal. Well, Tim, it looks like we have a lot to look forward to tonight. Can you give us a little sneak peek of what we can look forward to for Fox Football Live? Is there anything special planned at all? Yeah, so each week, obviously, we're going to do Fan of the Week. You can get uh, Fox West Texas Fan, hashtag Fox West Texas Fan, if you want to become the Fan of the Week. You have the Band of the Week. We'll feature that. Uh, the pep rally this afternoon at 2.15 here at Cristobal High School, so we'll get all the sights and sounds from that. But the feature story that we do each week on Fox Football Live, this one in particular, uh, legendary coach, Hall of Fame coach Billy Barnett, who led Cristobal to two state championships in his tenure here, passed away last week. So we have a, a nice piece, a nice feature on him. Him and the legacy that he left behind here in Cristobal and what to look forward to also is this game Cristobal and Grape Creek we will have uh, Abilene Midland highlights from last night TLCA Central San, uh, San Angelo Central is home for their home opener tonight so a lot to come a lot of highlights a lot of crosstalk Dax and I will be ready to go out here at 1030 on Fox Football Live. Well, thank you for joining us here on Wake Up West Texas. Tim you're looking very dapper in that red yeah, I like which I guess red. is uh, the Cristobal color right? Yeah, that was the goal. I, I woke up this morning and said, you know what? Uh, they've been really great, and the hospitality's been awesome. So let me show up a little bit with my red as well so I, I can like fit it. in. I like it we sure. love it. We love the school spirit. Thank you for joining us here on Wake Up West Texas. We have a lot up ahead when we come back. Yep, time around is 8.30. Don't go anywhere.